尊贵的来宾，欢迎来到琼英卓玛新兽域二零二零慈善演唱会。My name is Yi Su. Pleasure to be your MC this evening. 我是来自马来西亚广播电台 IFM 的主持人，很荣幸今天晚上为您担任主持。Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the national anthem. Tuan Tuan dan Puan Puan, sila berdiri untuk lagu Negaraku. 各位来宾，请起立。奏马来西亚国歌《Negaraku》。Please be seated. Thank you. Sila dudo, terima kasih. Chin jiu zuo. Without further ado, may I invite Mrs. Audrey Ong, founder of Swan Foundation Malaysia, to deliver her speech. 我们有请天鹅牌慈善基金创办人邵美莲女士致辞。Member Sila Gan, Mrs. Audrey Ong. So amazing! How wonderful things can happen when one's compassion is being triggered. Thank you for your great compassion and being a big part of us. I think you deserve a big round of applause for yourself. <laughs> to begin with this charity concert, I brought along. Two wonderful little Buddhas to join us in this meaningful event. On my right is my charming grandson. Hello, everyone. My name is Kingsley Ong. And this is my sweet, lovely granddaughter. Hello, everyone. My name is Haley Ong. Thank you. Yang Berhormat Datuk Muhammad Johari Sharani, Ketua Pengarah Istana Budaya, Kementerian Pelancongan Seni dan Budaya Malaysia, His Excellency Mr. Udaya Raj Pandey, Ambassador of Nepal to Malaysia, Distinguished Guests, Compassionate Venerables, Wonderful Audience, Friends and fans of Ani Cheng Dorma, Feel the Hill Charity Concert 2020. Selamat datang dan salam sejahtera. A very good evening. Dajia wan sang hao. Namaste. Terlebih dahulu, kami ingin merakamkan penghargaan setinggi-tinggi terima kasih kepada Yang Berhormat 
Muhammad Johari Sharani, Ketua Pengarah Istana Budaya, di atas kelulusan dan sokongan sepenuhnya kepada kami. Dengan ini, kami berjaya mementaskan konsert amal Feel the Hill yang melibatkan penyanyi berstatus antarabangsa dan berjiwa besar dan murni, Ani Choing Dorma dari negara Nepal di Panggung Sari Istana Budaya, Pentas Seni dan Budaya Malaysia yang berprestasi dan berstatus antarabangsa. Juga kami berasa bangga kerana program ini merupakan program membuka tirai panggung sari Istana Budaya bagi tahun 2020. Juga tidak ketinggalan mengucapkan ribuan terima kasih kepada setiap pekerja Istana Budaya yang berikan kerjasama dan perhatian kepada kami. Terima kasih. Our heartiest thanks to His Excellency Mr. Udaya Raj Pandey, Ambassador of Nepal to Malaysia, for gracing this event and lending his strong home support to Ani Choing Dorma and his wonderful musicians led by Mr. Nu Bachra Racha, famous composer and producer. I am very confident that this year is the year of visit truly Asia Malaysia that this meaningful event will further promote foster and strengthen our goodwill and friendship between our two nations it is also visit Nepal year 2020 With the overwhelming success of an Inner Peace Charity Concert 2016 and by the ever-growing popular demand for Ani Choing Dorma by her vast capacity of friends and fans, we take pride and honour once again to present an evening for everybody to enjoy Feel the Hill Charity Concert 2020. It is this significant practice of the greatness of small acts by giving and sharing and coming together as one by everyone in this auditorium that made us make a great success for this charity concert. We are the most loved of the Jisang Festival. The Jisang Festival of the Jisang Festival is very exciting. Please welcome the Venerable Master Chuan Xi. Ningpo Huiri Temple. Master Chuan Si is the abbot of Gu Wenshu Temple, Wu Tai San, Zhong Guo. Next, we have Chi Pei the Chetan Fa Si, Chief Abbot, Guo Guang San, Singapore, Malaysia, Thailand, Indonesia, and India. We also have compassionate, venerable Takwa, Abus, Jinghui Xiaoyuan, Malaysia. <laughs> Next, we also have compassionate, venerable Master Wu Hui, founder, 
Fa Hua Chi Yen Buddhist Association Malaysia. We also have a compassionate, venerable Master Ming Zi, founder Guan Yin World Foundation. We also take honor to welcome Venerable Dato K. Sri Dhammaratana, Chief Buddhist Mahavihara Brickfields, Malaysia. We also have Venerable B. Sri Saranankara Nayaka Mahatero, Chief Sri Lanka Temple, Malaysia. We also take the honor and gratitude to welcome Chita Fasu Ichi. Our profound appreciation to all our loving kindness and generous sponsors, dedicated volunteers, multi-talented crew and teammates, and every one of you for joining us in this meaningful event. Tonight, we have a special tribute to pay to our dear and wonderful friend, the late Mr. Alex Lim King Ong, who had contributed enormously to an evening of Inner Peace 2016 and few the Hill Charity Concert. Though he had departed from us, however, his fond memories will always remain close to our hearts. Our admiration and salutation to our compassionate Annie Train Roma and his musician for her singing tirelessly and selflessly for freedom, peace, and friendship. May her soul, may her pure voice, through her songs, touch and heal the hearts of our Malaysian audience and also the hearts of people around the world. Should there be any shortcoming in this charity concert, we seek your kind understanding and patience. Finally, we wish all communities a very happy, healthy, harmonious, and successful New Year 2020. And now, we shall let the healing begin. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Audrey Ong, the founder of Swan Foundation Malaysia. 非常感谢天鹅牌慈善基金创办人邵美莲女士。当然，还有非常可爱的孙子和孙女哈，他们站在舞台上的淡定啊，还有这个乖巧以及大将之风，让作为主持人的恩慈也觉得非常的赞叹哈。那寓意着丰富的多元文化。还有善意以及友情，待会儿呢，我们为你呈现的开场表演有的是 VR 和谐之鼓。虽然我们的表演者来自不同的种族和背景，有华裔、乌裔以及锡克族，但是我们在这片土地上共享着这个和谐与爱。As the significance of rich culture, goodwill, and friendship, we will present to you our opening performance. We are Muhiba dance drum performance. Muhiba in Malay means living in harmony and care for one another. The performance tonight is a mixture of multiracial and multicultural, including Malays, Chinese, and Sing dramas. Although they share a different religion 
and culture, but they live in the same land, sharing harmony and love for each other. So ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome our VR Muhiba drum performance.
Thank you, VR Drum Performance. 非常感谢我们的和谐之谷哈，让我们感受到和谐之美。Thanks for portraying the beauty of multicultural and multiracial of Malaysia. Please, uh, I need your attention as there's a few gentle reminder before the concert starts. Please switch off your mobile phone or turn it to silent mode. 以下有几项的温馨提醒哈，需要您的配合，请将您的手机关机或者转为静音模式。Photo and video recording is prohibited throughout the show. 演出的过程当中，严禁一切的拍照或者录影。In order not to disrupt any touring drama medication, meditation state of mind, please refrain from clapping hands throughout the concert. 为了确保琼音卓玛保持在一个禅定的状态，整个的演出过程当中，请不要鼓掌。There is a lamp on your seats. In the end of the performance, any Choin will lead everyone to light up the lamp of wisdom, peace, and love. So please keep it till the end of the performance. 每一位的座位上面呢，有一个心形的蜡烛。那演出的最后呢，重音卓玛将会带领着我们点亮这个心灯，所以请把它保留在最后哈。Let me share with you a little about Annie Choi and the charity concert tonight. Annie was being abused by his father during his, her childhood, and she decided to save herself and run away. She found herself in a monastery and learned about Buddhist teaching and started to embrace life again. She first founded Nan Welfare Foundation in 1998 and started her human humanitarian journey. 80% of the women in Himalaya are illiterate. She started Ayatara School since year 2000 and adopted about 80 girls, providing them shelter and empower them. 跟您分享一点点关于我们今天的这位。非常慈善心哦，还有这个爱心非常浓厚的琼英卓玛，她在小时候经历了家暴，而决定逃离家里。她在修道院学习了佛法，重新的拥抱了生命。在喜马拉雅，百分之八十的女性都没有办法受教育，都是文盲。所以在一九九八年，她开始了尼泊尔尼森福利基金会。在两千年开始了 Arya Tara School， 也让至今大约有八十位的女生能够在那里学习。Any t r a i n mother passed away due to lack of proper treatment of kidney disease. There are about three thousand of people a year in Nepal face the same challenge. With this reason, Any t r a i n seek to establish a kidney hospital where quality Dialysis and kidney transplant can be offered at an affordable price. Any sings and perform to provide funding to her foundation. She sing for peace. She sing for love. She sing for compassion. Chongying Zhuoma, the mother, because of the lack of a proper healthcare system, because of the disease of the kidney, died. 在尼泊尔，每年至少有三千人面对同样的挑战，因此，他也很希望能够立志要建立一个医院，提供一个可负担的医疗体系，给予这些肾脏的朋友、有问题的朋友。所以，因此，琼音卓玛，他就演唱，他表演，就为这个基金会啊，能够集资募款。所以，他为爱而唱。他为慈悲而唱，他为善而唱，他为自由而唱。所以在今天，当然也是一样。There's no exception for tonight. A heartiest thank to all our sponsors. The full amount of all the tickets sold tonight is solely donated to the Nuns Welfare Foundation of Nepal. 所以今天晚上非常感谢我们的赞助商。今天晚上的所有售出的票，全额都会捐给这个尼泊尔尼森福利基金会。The girls and the kidney patients from the foundation will be benefited from your kind heart. 那这些
，就是您生，还有这些有肾脏的病病患的朋友们呢，将会从您的这个善心中受惠。我想这也是我们二零二零年一个非常好的祝福跟开始，所以这个时候，让我们静下心来，我们透过琼琼音卓玛的天籁之音，来让我们的心灵能够心受育。Ladies and gentlemen, let's calm our mind and soul and enjoy any chowing dramas music. Feel the heal.
Happy New Year. Salamat Tihun Baru. A very good evening. Namaste. Now I would like to take a few moments to say a few things, uh, as I always do. <coughs> 
the music that you're listening to. I'm sh quite very clear in my mind that you know what you're here for, but yet I still would like to say a few things about it so that you would have a better or a clearer understanding of what you're listening to. It is a meditational technique that we use in the Himalayan Buddhism by uniting the mind with the sound of the mantra and these spiritual songs. Because our mind rides on a subtle energy of breath we call the prana. So when we chant the mantras and the spiritual songs, it helps us to purify the negativity in us and recharge us with the positive energy. And to sing these Mantras and these spiritual songs in a melodious way is just a method that we use because melody in general has an ability to soothe a very disturbed mind. It is a language that we all can understand regardless of the differences that we have in our cultural background or the languages we speak. Melody has the power to please the ear of divine, humans, animals, even the plants, they grow more beautifully when they get to listen to music. And for such reason, I believe that in monasteries, in temples, in mosques, or in churches, whenever they perform prayer ceremonies or rit ritual ceremonies, they often use music or melodies to perform them. And many of the traditional melodies that I'm singing today for you are not, or not composed by ordinary people like us. They are all composed from, by the great masters from the past throughout their meditational experiences. And some of the songs, the spiritual songs, are in Nepali language which are obviously carrying very profound teachings of Buddha in it. As these music that I'm presenting to you or sharing with you are not the kind of music that we normally think of mu having music to entertain us. It is a music that is supposed to bring your mind inside. Normally when you listen to other kind of music, it takes your mind outside. So there is a saying, when your mind is outside, it becomes a monkey. When your mind is inside, it becomes a temple. So I hope throughout the musical presentation that I share with you, I hope you will be able to be in the meditative state of mind through which you will be able to purify all your negative emotions or negative energy that you are under stress with. I hope you will enjoy this.
But 
I want to apologize because tone of my voice is a little different today because since yesterday I've been having some difficulty with the flu. Very runny nose and uh, coughing. But thank God, actually, so far so good, huh? <laughs> I didn't cough. <laughs> and I think it's all because of the blessing from all the venerables and all of your, your best wishes and you being in the meditative state of mind. I think it's hel helping me. Otherwise, I was really worried a little bit. I drank one full cane full of Red Bull <laughs> to have some energy. <laughs> <coughs> okay. So far, I, I didn't want to articulate so much about the song in between so that you can continuously be in the mood. But now there is a song about mother precious mother. I personally strongly believe that in this very lifetime, the first person who teaches us about loving kindness, compassion, caring, nurturing is our mother. So it's much later that we get to listen to Buddha's teaching, but the first Buddha in our life is our mother who really transmits all the selfless, altruistic energy of loving kindness and care, who shows so much joy even in the pain and the difficulty that she has to bear in order to care for the baby. A little bit of a joy that she sees in the baby's face, her joy is multiplied million times. No matter how hungry she is, but she makes sure that she feeds her child first. She makes sure that her child is safe and sound and in a drier place, in spite of herself having to be in a wet, difficulty or cold. She's the first person in our life who really sh teaches us about selflessness being able to be happy in caring and sharing and nurturing and bringing up a life. Of course, father is equally also kind, but in Buddhism, mother's love is very much emphasized on how our compassion should be generated to the most extended level a limited level is, of course, one's own mother. A mother's love for her own child is totally selfless, altruistic, but there is a limitation to extend that love to others' child. But a mother is the most beautiful being that you can think of whenever on this earth. Mother means warmth. Mother means safe refuge. Whenever you are in fear, when a baby is in fear, 
what she looks for is not really Buddha or Bodhisattva. She looks for mummy. A little pain. She looks for mummy. She cries for mummy. So mummy's love is the most beautiful emotion or beautiful feeling that one can really endure or really experience in life. And I believe that someone who is not capable of expressing or feeling or realizing the gratitude towards one's own mother, that person can never practice loving kindness and compassion to others. How can you? So I think it's very important one for us, first of all, to be able to really generate that gratitude towards one's own mother, one's own father. And then we can think of being able to generate that loving kindness and compassion to other beings. So for that, I would like to sing this mother's song of mother where it says, just calling mommy, mommy is not enough. You must try to understand how much of difficulty and the pain she goes through to care for you, to raise you, to nurture you. I hope you will enjoy this song. <clears throat> Tempo. Thank you. 
This next song is a song about our mind. How, how jumpy it is, how um, anxious it is all the time. Our mind is never ca able to stay in one place. It can be in hundreds of places at one time. So in the name of living, we keep on being very, very active in our mind. Uh, our mind is actively always jumping around, so which actually makes us feel very tired and frustrated at times. So this is a song that I'm talking to my own mind. I'm saying, please, my jumpy, flickery mind, please calm down, you know, sit down, have some peace. In the name of living, how much you want to burn yourself According to the calculation, I'm supposed to be your master. But looking at your character, I'm becoming your slave. I can't see you. I can't touch you. Yet, you enslave me. And then the second verse of this song says, Realizing the worthlessness or the meaninglessness of worldly achievements such as name and fame. I renounced it all, but in the name of renunciation itself, I developed so much arrogance. I'm cheating myself. I'm burning the fire myself and crying for water myself. So this is what uh, this song is about. And actually this, this is very much of a song that I felt it very genuinely during the time when I was in the monastery in, in the mountain, where sometimes we are so treated so well and respected, honored, and made, uh, you know, we are fed the best food and made the best offerings and all those. We get carried away thinking that we are something very special, forgetting that we are here to serve. So this is a song of realization, I would call it. And the composition is very beautifully based on the Nepali folk uh, taste. I hope you will enjoy this.
This is a song called Sacred Tree. And uh, since last couple of times in my performance, I have been trying to sing this song, which will be in Chinese. Please forgive me if my Chinese is not so good, but uh, I wanted to sing this song because this is a very beautiful song. And I hope you can understand the meaning of the song through my broken Chinese. <laughs> Every time I sing this, it's like a going through exam test. <laughs> okay, this next song. This is a song that is most celebrated song in Nepali language that we have in Nepal, as well as in the Nepali-speaking countries around the world. <clears throat> All these beautiful modern composition 
song, these beautiful songs are all composed by our most celebrated composer in Nepal, Mr. New Bajracharya. So let's have a big hand for him. <laughs> And on this very traditional folk instrument that we have in Nepal called Sarangi, played by Prince Nepali. And on percussion and drum, Sundar Mahajan. And the beautiful flautist, we have Umesh Pandit. And on keyboard, very handsome Prajol Lama. A lot of the time, people give me so much love and credit for all these beautiful songs, but I always like to remind the people that whatever you listen to as my music, without these musicians, without the composer, my music would not exist. So I hope you will show your gratitude and appreciation to the musicians as well. <clears throat> this next song is a very meaningful yet very simple song. Actually, this is a song that made this Buddhist nun a pop star in Nepal. So you can imagine how the controversial image that I have is developed. <laughs> But the reason why I started singing in modern spiritual songs, modern composition, is because when you ask a young people, when you ask young people to come and listen to Buddha's teaching, come to the monastery, come and learn meditation, they would think, oh, I'm too young to go to monastery. You know, it's not time. It's time for me to have fun. But if you, you know, have a music, old, young, whatever age you belong to, everyone enjoys music. So I wanted to share Buddha's teaching through a beautiful medium, that is through music. And that's why I started singing in the Nepali modern language, you know, the simple language that everyone can understand, from very young babies to very grown-up people. You know, people at, at a a any age, they enjoy this song. The conceptual resource of this song is absolutely from Buddha's teaching. It says, in the eyes of a flower, the world appears as flower. In the eyes of a thorn, the world appears as thorn. Reflection takes place according to the shape of the object. What it is trying to say is how everything depends on how we learn to perceive things in our life. Every experience, good or bad, if we learn to perceive them positively, the effect will be positive. And if we learn to perceive them always negatively, the effect will be negative. And according to our understanding capacity, the judgment takes place. The most beautiful part of this song says, may my heart always be pure, may my words always be words of wisdom. May the sole of my feet never kill an insect. In a beautiful eyes, the world always appears as beautiful. Discrimination is bad. I will renounce it by all means. But to the discriminator, I will treat with love. No matter how cruel someone can be, how brutal someone can be, he or she herself, himself or herself also wishes to be happy in life. So everyone deserves to be loved. Everyone deserves to be, you know, kind. So this is the essence of Buddha's teaching that is being carried in this song. And I hope you will enjoy this truly as well. <laughs> Bye.
<clears throat> now, would you be interested to sing something together? And I believe that there has been a small lamp arranged on every seat. Um, this is because, you see, as we all being Buddhist, we believe that at the end of every auspicious spiritual dharma gathering, we accumulate so much merit, we must not forget to dedicate the benefit to all and everyone. All to be freed from suffering as we oneself wish to be free from suffering. So, I will sing it several times myself. And then whenever I say, please join me, then you please join me without hesitation. Not everyone's light lamp is on. Will you please try to have everyone, all the lamp of love, light of compassion, clarity, kindness, let's switch it on in our heart. But before we sing together, I would like to take a few moments to express my deepest gratitude to all the venerables for gracing this event with their presence. Thank you so much for gracing and blessing this event. And I want to thank all of you, all the audience, really taking your very precious time to be with me and making this evening a very successful evening. Every time there was in a concert, way, way, way before the concert was sold out. So I feel so good. Thank you so much. And the most important, the very kind and generous organizer, the Swan Foundation family, each and every member of the family who, who volunteered, and of course, with the leadership of Audrey, Michael, and the whole family from our very little baby, you know, boys and girls, every one of you, all the musicians who played the music before us, and of course, the most impor important person that I felt every time I came to this Istana Bodaya is the most respected, our beloved Dato Abangjo. Thank you so much for the encouragement. Every time I came here, you said, Ani, when are you performing next? You must perform. So thank you so much. And I know that getting opportunity to perform in this auditorium is a very prestigious and this means very special treat. Thank you so much. And all the sponsors, my deepest gratitude, everyone who really volunteered and sponsored, and all the sound brothers, thank you so much. Thank you so much for making us sound good. Everyone who has come here, the cameraman and the master of ceremony, beautiful master of ceremony, thank you so much. Everyone, it from the inner core of my heart, deepest gratitude, you know, and of course, um, my own Nepali ambassador to Malaysia, thank you for your presence today. And um, this event is a very special event, event that is combined together to announce Visit Malaysia 2020 and Visit Nepal 2020. So I would like to extend my invitation to you all to visit Nepal in this year. Anyone who is a Buddhist who calls yourself Buddhist, I believe that you must once in your lifetime must visit Nepal because Nepal is the country where Lord Buddha is born. It is a country that has very strong spiritual energy. People are with the simplicity, simple heart. We may not be perfect in terms of infrastructure development or technological development, but we are very rich in spiritual energy. So please visit Nepal, and I hope to see you in Nepal soon. And once again, thank you very much from the inner core of my heart, and let's pray and switch on the light of kindness and compassion for everyone. Thank you.
<laughs> okay, all right. I was wasn't so sure if everybody wants it or not because I know some people might have to go very far away, you know. Do you really want echo? Yeah. Thank you. I will with pleasure. <clears throat> but again, you have to sing together, okay? This is called Namo Pensu Shija Moni Po. Okay? Together.
And this is beautifully composed by our composer here. The melody, the music, everything. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. 
Yeah. So, March 28, I have another concert in Singapore. So if anyone didn't get a chance to come, they have, there is another chance. So, and then please, once again, visit Nepal. And thank you very much. <laughs> Good night, very much. Good night. Good night. So. So. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. To any Chowin Droma, very thank you to Droma for bringing us this spiritual music. His heart is full of thanks. His heart is so big. For us, it is a very special person to study and learn a true person. Today, we have learned his music and the wisdom of the Buddha. And every one of you has brought your good wishes to the Nibo Er. 他们的这个福利的基金会那里哈，那这个尼森福利基金就是琼英卓玛他所成立的，那有带着非常多的女生啊，从女孩到我们的这个呃出家的我们的森尼，他们都在那里学习，也给予他们很多的一个力量，走下去做更多的人道工作。所以你们今天。的这些捐款都会到这个尼泊尔尼森的福利基金会，给你们自己一个掌声好吗 ？Once again, thanks to all of our sponsors and of course our wonderful audience. 我相信你们感受到刚才这份祝福的力量哈，这是一个二零二零年很好的开始，把这份爱的力量继续带到你们二零二零的生活，给你们生活中的每一位。Now, we will give a round of applause to Annie Choi Indroma. Thanks to what she had done for all the children and all the patients in Nepal. And of course, sharing with us the wisdom of the Buddha through her wonderful music. I believe all of you have feel the heat. Do you? Yes. Do we still hope to see Anna Train Droma soon? I hope she heard that, and I hope that she will come back to Malaysia more often. Once again, all the best to all of our audience. 感谢你们今天的出席。那很希望这份爱心我们都可以延续给身边所有的人。我是来自 IFM 的恩慈，也很荣幸跟你们今天晚上感受这一份的祝福。那祝福每一位生活顺心，我们能够把这份慈悲心跟爱心传给我们身边的人。待会儿我们出去呢，在场外也有这个呃 Anna Choi 的他的这些 CD 跟书籍，那这些呢都是作为慈善用途的，所以鼓励我们的观众朋友们可以多多的益善哈。Outside the hall, there's the CDs and a books for charity sales. So uh, when you go out of the ballroom, you can have a look, and it's all for donation to Nance Welfare Foundation of Nepal. Thanks to all of you. Thank you to our wonderful audience for gracing this concert tonight. All the best. My name is Isol. Thank you very much. Thank you.